let's talk about our D and A string notes. While we talk about putting fingers down on our D and A string, we're talking about using our left hand and specifically one, two, three, and fourth fingers. So pointer finger is always gonna be referred to as finger number one. Middle finger always gonna be finger number two. Third finger ring finger will always be number three, and pinky will be finger number four. We're not gonna chat about pinky today, and we'll save that for later when you're feeling more advanced. Also, I pinched my hand in the garden today, so when I hold up my hand, you're gonna see a little injury that's healing. That's just the way it goes when we talk about fingers when I'm getting ready to work in the garden. When we talk about our D and A string notes, I always like talking with beginner string players about my favorite game growing up as a kid, which was the game called Battleship. In that Fleet Commander Robbie Grant fires the shot that sinks his brother's destroyer. Say my destroyer. This Yay! glorious moment is remembered as the last time Robbie was allowed in Michael's room. December 22nd, 1985. Playing electronic battleship, Admiral Pizza. Harold Burns Jr. programs a devastating attack. Dad says, You sank my battleship! And history is made. Battleship and Electronic Battleship from Milton Bradley. It's a hit. Battleship. In that game, you had to beat your opponent by telling them where you thought their ship was on a grid. And you went one way and then another. And we use that same idea when we talk about how we'd like you to play your DNA string notes. We'll say what string we're on and then what finger to use and we typically line that up with my students in the classroom with a special colored tape. So for example, if I wanted to play an E on our instrument, I would call that D1 because it's played on the D string with first finger. So in my little examples today, you're gonna hear me talk about the notes in three different ways. You'll hear me talk about it in my string and finger combination. You'll hear me talk about it with just the finger number, and then you'll hear me refer to the note by just its letter name. So let's jump right in and talk about how you can play some notes on the D and A string. All right, starting off for my violin players on the D string, we're gonna start here with open D, highlighted in red. Going to our first finger down for our note E. Two fingers down on the D string for F sharp. To three fingers down on D string for our note G. And then we head over to our a string on the violin, highlighted here in red. Then we put down one finger on the A string for the note B. Two fingers on the A string for the note C sharp. And finishing out with three fingers on the A string for our note D. Over to our D string for viola players, very similar to violin land, where we're starting with open D highlighted here in red. Going to first finger on the D string for our note E. Headed to two fingers on the D string for F sharp. Finishing it out with three fingers on D string for our note G. Jumping over to our A string on the viola, which we'll highlight as an open string in red. With then one finger down on the A string for our note B. Followed by two fingers down on the A string for our note C sharp. And finishing out with three fingers down on the A string for our note D. Let me tell you a quick silly story about how our hands should look when we're playing some of these D and A string notes. It's important to recognize that there's special spacing that goes down when we play these first beginning notes. I like thinking about it as first finger has no friends. It's really lonely because it's all by its lonesome out Aww. on its first tape. <laughs> Second and third finger, they are best friends. They go to the mall every weekend, they hang out at night and play video games together. They're besties, they're next door neighbors, they live next to each other, just like the tapes are next to each other on your instrument. So first finger, <laughs> all by itself. 
then second finger and third finger should be placed next together, regardless of whether you're on the D or A string in first position. So keep in mind, as you're working through this stuff, totally cool to go and scribble in anything you need to in your music in order to be able to play it successfully. But a goal will be for you to start eventually working towards not labeling your notes and being able to read music notes just like you can read letters when you read a book to form words. My suggestion to you would be to start memorizing where your open strings sit on the lines and spaces that we call a musical staff and then work from there. Take a week and work through memorizing just where your D string notes sit on the staff and then go and work on memorizing your A string notes and where they live on the staff and play some songs that exercise that. So I hope this little quick video was helpful to explain where all of our notes on the D major scale live on D and A string and I hope to see you in the next one.